hey lovelies welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you are early welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much and god bless you do you know that the right makeup can enhance your natural beauty and make you glow on your big day check out this lovely bridal transformation from before to after of this beautiful bride of mine let's get right in on how this entire look was achieved welcome back lovelies about today's bridal makeup step-by-step -step tutorial what i do is i basically just properly arrange every makeup product i'll be using on the bride bridal makeup usually takes time and the clients are usually in here already they really do not have the time to be waiting for you because on this particular day she needs to get her makeup done fast and she needs to start heading to the reception to get some shots you know some video clips before heading back for our wedding and so it's important that you want to work on a clean canva on a clean skin yes that's one important factor for every successful clean brighter makeup then when i'm done with cleansing the face using that easy wish tear for oily skin i went in with the cos rs snail essence serum apply that on her face and then next was this beautiful elf moisturizer it's perfect for oily skin and combination skin not all moisturizer are perfect for makeup but this particular elf moisturizer is perfect on that makeup and what i do is after applying all of that on the face i go down to the neckline and to the shoulder and apply the excesses of the moisturizer over there this also adds to the glowing effect you see on a bright skin for brighter makeup i usually like to go in with two primer especially a normal primer which is the makeup forever and then a mattifying primer which is strictly on the t-zone which is usually on the forehead on the cheekbone wondering why there are so many hairs around her is because the hairstylist is doing her thing and then i went in with a setting powder laura mencia setting powder to apply as a blotting paper or as a blotting product that absorbs all of the oily product that comes out of my bright skin this is very important for a long lasting effect and then next is this three combination of foundation from the older beauty mac cosmetics and l'oreal Tromage. it is my teen and my signature to use more than one foundation so i mix this three foundation which is like exact tune to color correct and to apply i didn't show all of the foundation processes because on this day there were clients moving around bright eye studies moving around the distraction was much so i didn't really film the foundation process but trust me it's all about using my brush to blend and my beauty blender to tap that was it and then next is applying a certain spray on the face to absorb all of those makeup products calm it down and then next was my contouring and then for contour i use a foundation that is a shade darker i applied on the airline on the forehead and then i blended that using a beauty blender and then i went into a blush i'm trying to make the process very detailed but yet very comfortable for you viewing it because there are lots of background and um, people so i need you to just concentrate on this and eh? focus 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 on my hand the beauty blender and on the face not on the people behind so it's time for my blush and as always it's important for me to go in with a liquid blush and because she was very light skin and she actually requested for blush and glow to be loud so therefore trust me to go all in with the blush and because of her shape face shape i had to make the blush application like this if you want to see a detailed video of how i smash diamond face shape and square face shape let me know in the comments section and i'll put that for you and then at first it's time for concealer let's go i light those face let's bring structure to the face yes it's, it's surgery time it's time to enhance our beauty yes and that's one thing i love about makeup it helps me to enhance anyone i come across as a client or as a bride it helps me to enhance their beauty and for concealer i use two concealer i use the nigerian nuban beauty concealer in 40 shade 40 that's to tell you how really light she is and then i also use the kevin Ocon in s8 
so i mix both together and those are the areas i want to uplift on her face and then i also apply the essences of the concealer just below a joy line which is a little bit below the zygomatic bone to give the face a proper structure and as always make sure your beauty blender is properly wet and damp you can either use the water to blend your to make your beauty blender to be soft or you just spray a fixing setting spray to it and voila you are good to go so at this point my bride was also trying to place some calls to check on the other vendors our event planner was here one very lovely lady she made sure that everything goes in smoothly and nicely done now it's blending time so i'm just blending all of this and as you can see i was really really fast because I like to work with time, especially when a bride is insisting on stopping by at a reception before anybody comes in. She wants some headshots, some videos there. Trust me, I need to go all out. And this is how beautiful her skin is looking. Check her the smile, man. The compliment I got on this job, eh? I just bless God. Sweet Holy Spirit, thank you. Because on this morning, I left my house 5 a.m., driving to the hotel and I just say I cover my husband and my children with the blood of Jesus. God, this also will face the come for us this early. Please protect my going out and my coming in. I cover the road with the blood of Jesus. And Lord, as I'm going to do this work, ha, protect this work. Let it meet the right audience. Let this bride drink many more bride. Lord, please, any person that is going to talk bad about my work, may they not be in that room today. May they not be available to be in that room. May only the right people to give the right compliments be in that room. That was the simple prayer I made. It looks simple, but it's not simple because trust me, we all need the right audience in our life to push our content. We all live, we all need the right audience in our lives, in our career, to make our jobs easy, to speak positive about our job. There's this positive vibe you get when a positive comment is being dropped or when somebody in the room is just giving you a positive energy positive and positive now correct results you, you will get now because me i come with a hundred percent positive vibe when my bride at this point was even a bit tensed about a vendor that was acting up last minute i was just trying to come out and see my tell you anyhow will be just smile today is your day don't let anything to spoil your day you are a beautiful bride not squeeze your face the you hear me if you squeeze your face your nose will burn especially this one now we person want to control if you just try and squeeze your face now bend 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 nose now you will get so straight your face in your heart think of you the love of your life think of how after today you've officially become a missus just think of the good moment and forget any vendor that want to suffer you today because you know what sometimes we plan and some other times not all the plans come as perfect as we have planned it it's been months of planning your wedding yes you want perfection but trust me sometimes it doesn't always go as you planned so let god do this thing let god fix whatever it is and make sure you don't ruin your day because you cannot rewind the day so make sure you're all about the positive vibes smiling and being happy today and after that cheerful words she was better she felt revived she first energized and she was not like okay thank you ma i love this words of is the affirmation i'm going to call it or encouragement but thank you ma truly i really need to smile it's my day and that was it guys at this point the hairstylist was still on what to do i'm still snatching those faces because it's time for highlight and contour and as you can see i'm trying to you know make sure that her eyes is not as small as you're seeing it so henceforth the way i highlighted her outer corner of her eyes did you see where the highlight is going it's going as if it's going to her head eh? it's looking sharp a bit that's because we need to make this face slimmer that's the beauty of highlight and contour and this brow if not that eh yes stylist was doing a thing eh? this brow i wanted to give people its separate brow eyebrow tutorials because this brow was a brow to live for and to die for trust me everyone who came across this eyebrow on this day we are just sharing me up and it was so easy all you need to do i think maybe you should download this video or you should just zoom properly 
I went in with two combination of brow gel because trust me brow gel lasts longer it's not like the pencil that sometimes when you get a hug the pencil of the brows just clean off no eyebrow gel is something that lasts all day it helps your eyebrow to stay in place okay try it first thing you need to do is make sure you create your eyebrow line contain the brow know the shape of the brow that you want and then just slightly go in filling in those pieces trust me the brows will be looking like follow comb. you know all those beautiful micro bladed eyebrows that is how the eyebrow will be looking because for me after your proper foundation blending and your skin work the brow is the next central of attraction the eyebrows is where most people look at first and the eyebrows is another thing that usually define and enhances your facial structure so it is important to pay attention to the eyebrows i take time to do my brows these days because why not i need to give it to you guys you guys are so superb my fans are the best my subscribers are literally the best i'm blessed to have you guys so trust me i come all prepared for you guys so when i'm done with defining those eyebrows i go in with a concealer not as bright as the one i use for highlight but a shade darker because i don't want ash line looking like white line under the brows and eh, eh, we're not do that one for you not before this channel that they do that type so when i was done with the concealer application i went in with this the la vida brown powder palette and i used the yellow tone on top of the brows and under the brows because i usually do not like to highlight conceal top of the brows okay i like to just use a powder to just blend it and you can see how it just fades into her skin not be all those ones where they be like eyebrow where they use a white shock like concealer to draw under the brows no i like to fade the concealer that i have applied under the brow bone into a skin and then i went back into my brows to do the final touching do you know why most times after the powder application and concealer application the brow seems to fade so i just did a touch up you can see the difference see the edges you can see that the beginning of the brows is a bit bright and normal like a normal stroke of hair and then the outer part is a bit dark which brings about beauty to her face and then i just did rounding off on the eyebrows just paying attention doing some touch up trying to blend all of that in and we're good to go it's time for my eyeshadow application and i went in with this eyeshadow base primer from the p lewis it's been a while i've not used this primer i've been using my benign clown and this powder is this eyeshadow primer is just perfect okay i apply that on the eyelid and then i blend them properly and then i went in with my contour powder because you need to create a mash from your contour powder down to under the brow beginning of your brows and then i also built that on the eyelid as my eyeshadow base you can see i use the queen cover gear powder to think that what you're seeing now is not an eyeshadow is a powder for wedding eh, this is one of my signature look i like to use more of powder because bright they can sweat they can cry whatever the atmosphere is going to be might be sweaty see i just like to create a soft subtle subtle look okay i like to just create a soft eye look that makes you look younger than your age as a bride since it's a brighter makeup and it makes you look okay like your confidence is not being tampered with so all i do is i just enhance those eyes after the eyeshadow after the powder application on the eyelid as my eyeshadow I went back in and took a bit of my P. Lewis eyeshadow primer. I applied that just only on the eyelid and then I went in with my eyeshadow palette which is from the Morphe collection. So this eyeshadow palette is from the Morphe so I took a very nude shade and on these eyes I actually asked for permission because one thing is for you to do what you want another thing is for the bride to give you permission on the bridal look that she wants so when i told her this is what i'll be doing she gave a hundred percent permission and voila 
I'm done with the eyelid. I'm just trying to bring proper structure to the outer corner of the eyes as a bride. I think it's important, or rather, I know it's important to uplift our facial structure. And so I placed that razor blade at the outer corner of her eyes, went in with a little dark eyeshadow that looks like black, and then I just placed a little there using my Vicar Bell brush and my Y Glam Cosmetics eyeshadow brush. And then you can see I'm moving from place to place trying to achieve the same results because it won't be nice that one of the eyes is looking uplifted while the other is not and to think she have hooded eyes see this is one of the best technique you need for any hooded eyes hands lift the face and give back to her you can see that when we initially started her face was really wide and you know you know you know but right now it's looking all snatch your perfect face shape could pass for both diamond face and square face shape and then i went in with a gel liner because i need inner corners of the eyes to be properly black see how i place my other finger on the eyelid so that the black is going to the waterline which is where i want it to be and not on the eyelid and not on the eyeshadow or rather on top of the eyeshadow so these techniques are techniques that also make your brighter work to be very fine and see how i place my other finger at the outer corner edges of our brows to make sure that i properly get those lining perfect lining at the outer corner of her eyelid and then i use i was able to achieve that using my mirror cosmetics brush and then it's time for those nose structure i went back in and told her to keep a straight face this is not a time to press phone please ma'am with all due respect keep a straight face so that we don't have ben ben nose and then i'm not snatching the nose properly this is now the final touching for bride and then i make sure that this same powder that i use on the contouring as eyeshadow are the same powder i use on her cheek the side of her face and on her forehead check out this brighter blessed beauty and at this point i was done with the eyelash she loved it i gave her a palette of eyelash to choose from she chose this and i encouraged her to get this yeah we're done check out those eyes all snatched look at me baby turn the camera around whether you look at her from up or from down or from under she's looking absolutely gorgeous yeah she got a dream makeup come to reality thank you babe for the patronage and i appreciate it. it's time to sculpt those lips her lip was very small in fact i had to go a bit above her lip to create a structure and to properly sculpt those lips because the nip need to look needs to look a bit fuller each time i apply the lip liner i ask her to dab her lip at some point she had to open her lip a bit and then she dab her lip when i was done with that and when the lines were properly blended i went in with another shade of lip stain to make sure that it is nude as she wanted it because this was a requested makeup bridal look okay and trust me when a bride asks you to do what they want you to do what they pay you to do you should really do that because they have a dream wedding and trust me for them to include you in their dream wedding for you being their dream makeup artist you need to deliver results no excuse okay Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I'm never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way 
This is paying attention and proper lip sculpting and I miss a bit of a concealer and a foundation to just keep under the lips clean, well sculpted, well blended, well concealed. Did you see the difference and how a lip is looking all fresh, lit and beautiful? These are the details we pay in step by step bridal makeup tutorial. I know you are loving everything about this gorgeous makeup look please do well to subscribe to my channel if you have watched this video up to now do well to like this video tell your friends about mamusate and then i'm just doing a final finishing to this beautiful bridal look and then i'm done with the body glow glow on the cheek i'm just defining under the lash line under those eyes you can see how it's looking colorful and beautiful i went in with a black gel liner to make the eyes very dark and then when i was done with this i made sure she was comfortable she wasn't tearing and then i also lined top of the eyes and then i went in with my mascara please guys remember to always spray your setting spray because this just melts all of the makeup products and i use the uh, charlotte Tilbury setting spray see the shoulder see the glue see how it's just popping trust me this is how you want to look on your wedding i waited for this to sink into the skin to dry properly before going in with my so pro setting mist and that so pro is a seal it a lock it for long lasting effect this bride was feeling herself she loved herself this is the so pro in fact she was so happy and i'm even more happy that i made a dream wedding come to pass and part of our bridal dream wedding team i have a content creation page on instagram so it was time for her to complete the content that she paid for and then when we're done with this we went back into the room and to change to her wedding dress yes she changed to her wedding gown what she had initially was a bridal robe and it took a village to get this beautiful wedding gown to fit her husband even came into the room to make sure that the bride is looking all beautiful and all pink for the big day he gave a lot of compliments he loved the makeup and i was so feeling high guys as i make i give now the approval if not i for not at this part of the video but see the glue see that blinding glue man Remember to book me for your bridal wedding and all type of wedding makeup. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay blessed, be happy, smile often, and bye, guys. Bye.